and girls, please give a round of applause to your two competing teams today, Bulgaria Rugby League and the Malta Rugby League men! Good afternoon and welcome to Malta Sports Ground. Today we have uh, two teams competing, Malta coming off a win last week. Um, and today they're facing Bulgaria in Master Sports Village in Malta. So we'll go through the team sheet for Malta. We have number one Mark Camelera. He can also play centre and wing. Um, according to Mark, one more time. So let's hope for a big game for Mark today. Uh, Reese Demek at number two. He plays centre as well um, for Medway Dragons. And he's also the brother of Kane. Um, our number <laughs> 11 today. Um, number three is Alfred Jewett. He likes playing in centre. Uh, he plays for Featherstone Lions. He's still only a young lad, plenty to come from him. Um, he's also got a little brother who's looking to step up one day as well and get his cap from Malta. Um, number four, we've got Carl Goucher, still only a young lad, 19 years old, from Sijiwi. His preferred position is centre, and he plays for Malta. Um, he's also a cat for Malta Rugby Union and Falcons. Number five, we have Jan Stoller, who plays winger. He's part of the Malta Rugby Union 17, uh, where Malta won the silver medal. He has three cats for Malta, and he's one of the fastest rugby players in Malta. Uh, number six, we have Carl Kassar, our captain, Mr. Reliable. I can always expect a good shift from Carl uh, and give his 100% every time he plays for Malta. He's also serving in the British military and he plays his rugby league uh, for the RAF. Number seven, don't need much introduction for Mr. Jared Samet. Um, been playing at the top level now for a few years. Um, he's currently playing his trade in the championship for Barrel Raiders, but uh, we can expect quite a bit from Jared today. Number eight, we have Justin Davenport. Um, this is second cap for Malta today. He uh, is a prop from Florida and he plays for the Tampa Mayhem in the USA. And he's also a firefighter by day. Number nine, Robin Kataya. He uh, plays for Stompers as a union team. Um, he's previously learned his rugby league trade playing for Exeter University Rugby League. He played three seasons there. Um, he actually met Kane DeMac at the age of 16, and that's how they, how they ended up getting in contact with the national side. Uh, number 10, our vice captain, Jean-Pierre Zab, part of the furniture now here at Malta. I think this is his 13th or 14th cap. Um, big bulldozing run from Jean. We can expect um, Jean to be a powerhouse today for Malta. Number 11, Kane DeMac. He plays for Cornwall in League One. Who, like we mentioned earlier, he's the brother of Rhys. Um, he debuted for Malta in 2015 against Ireland. Anthem. Uh, and now, now for the Maltese. anthem of your Maltese Rugby League Knights.
Maltese National Anthem. Uh, I'm sorry about putting over the Bulgarian National Anthem, but I will Let's continue go, with the teams. Number 12, we have William Watts, plays his trade at overseas. Uh, big, strong lad. You can expect quite a bit from him in the middle today. Uh, number 13, Mark Robertson. He used to play rugby league for Edinburgh, Edinburgh Eagles. Made his debut for Malta last week against Montenegro. And he's previously represented the Scotland Police. We have number 14, Carol Spitera. Number 15, Liam Babo. Uh, number 16, Peter De Bono and number 17, Brendan Dalton. Uh, we have the reserves today as well. The 18th man will be Nicky, and the 19th man will be Sven Camalera. Um, we're just waiting for the two teams to set up for kickoff now. Looks like Bulgaria will be receiving. Um, let's hope for a good game today. It's a bit windy, so we'll look out for the kicking situation. Uh, it'll be important today for the kickers um, to judge this wind and get a few good kicks off. Jared Summit is about to, to kick off. Our referee today, our match official, is uh, Tony Palacios. He's from Spain. We also have uh, touch judges as in Lionel De Silva and Justin Ferruja. Jared prepares for the kick and we have kick off. Great kick by Jared Sam up there. Um, if you're not familiar with rugby league, from the kickoff, if the ball bounces and uh, goes out of play, the kicking team will receive the ball back. So um, looks like Malta will have the first chance at attack here on the Bulgarian line. Just waiting for the ball to come back into play. So we have Kane Dimek with the play of the ball, Robin Kataya behind at nine. Malta goal left to Davenport, big strong run there from Justin Davenport. But the Bulgarians are equal to quick play of the ball, Robin from behind, goes right this time. Um, unlucky there from Kane Dimek. Get his head up, he'll be all right. Everybody makes mistakes. As long as he doesn't think on it, I'm sure he's in for a big game today, Ken. The Bulgarians have their first chance with the ball now. Let's see what they can do getting out of their own end. Uh, Maltese will have to front up in defence if they're going to stop them from breaking the line. Ideally, the Maltese want to keep them down here, play the, the territory, play a position on the field. I've done it. It's gone wide, it's gone to the right. Good run there. Good run by the Bulgarians. Quick play of the ball. He's gone left to the prop. Good solid contact. Malteser fronting up. Kane Dimek and William Watts, two in the tackle there. Great defence. Knock on there, the play of the ball. Good pressure by the Maltese. So Mistake after mistake. We've got Kane with the first one, then we had the Bulgarians with the second one. It's a bit windy today, like I said. So maybe the boys are just getting used to the conditions. <laughs> but Maltese having second chance here at the Bulgarian line. Let's see what they can do from this scrum. Carl <laughs> Gassar to feed the scrum. Robin goes right to Jared. Jared switches play back to Carl. Still going left. Kyle with the ball. Goucher. He's been stopped. Just five metres short of the line. Robin flies it out right. William Watts with the ball. The Bulgarians have held him there. That's a penalty to Malta. The Bulgarians was offside. Robin with the tap. Davenport with the drive. Good solid run. 
They stop there a metre away from the line. What can the Maltese do here? He goes left, hits Kyle Goetje, and he's stopped by a monstrous tackle there from the Bulgarians, and they put him down on his back. Good tackle there, good defence so far. We go right, Maltese with Kane. He takes the tackle, well held. Good option, good decision. Gets up, quick play of the ball. Robin at the behind again, goes left, goes to Kyle Kassar, hits Watts. And it's a knock on. And first right William Watts. Good defence there, good, good pressure by the Bulgarians to stop the big number 11 from crashing over. Unlucky there from William Watts. And a great little play by Malta, swung it to the left. Watts on a crash play, but unfortunately he dropped the ball. Now Maltese have to front up in defence. Now Maltese have to front up in defence and keep the Bulgarians down in their own half and maybe put some pressure on. Pulls out, he goes left, and again, little drop off play. Good tackle from the Maltese It's good, solid contact. Good, solid contact. So far, so good by the Maltese here. They've kept him down in their own 20 on the second. All the Maltese players are offside though. Bulgaria get an easy penalty. This will help them out get out of their own half. Now maybe they can string a few passes together and put the Maltese under a bit of pressure and maybe attack the line. Let's see what they've got from here. But again, remember I mentioned the wind. It's very windy today, so he's going to have to keep an eye on that from this kick. And unfortunately, he hasn't made touch. Kyle Goucher with the receive. Good little run back inside. He's still going. Currently held the Robin at the back. Goes right to Jean. Let's see. Good solid contact. And as he goes, he keeps going. Not easy to put down. Good solid run there from Jean. Looks like he might be hurt there though. Fingers crossed, it's nothing serious. Balls with Carl. Takes it on, takes the line on himself. On all fours, get up, quick play of the ball. Robin goes right on a little scoot, passes on then to Davenport, who has another solid run. But he's met by two Bulgarians who put him on his back. Slow play of the ball, Robin goes right again to Jared. Fakes the drop off, straight through the great try. Fantastic hold up play there from Jared Samu. And then a great line there from Robinson. goes to number 12, Mark Robinson. Good, good try. See how Jared, see how Jared comes across the line, throws the dummy on the inside, and then just a, a superb line from Matt Robinson to go straight through the Bulgarians' defence and puts the ball down under the sticks. It's four 0 to Malta. Jared sum up with the attempt. He lines up the kick. Should be a normality to this for Jared. And that's an extra two points there for Malta. Six nil to Malta. Number seven, Jared Samut. It's Malta six, Bulgaria nil. Maltese in front here early. Winning the battle so far. The Bulgarians haven't managed to get out of their own half as of yet. Um, looks solid in defence, just a lack of concentration there, I think. Um, better lack of communication as well, closing up the gaps. But uh, like a handy team, but looks like Malta came to play today. And the Bulgarian team are going to kick off now to Malta. Um, Again, he's going to have to watch out for the wind. He's got the wind coming in front of him, so has to give this a bit of a whack. He wants any distance on it. 
Now that Camilleri under the ball, good take. Takes the drive in himself, met by the Bulgarian squad, good chase. Jan Scully with the scoot. Made a few metres there to get up and quick play the ball. We've gone left to Kane. He takes the drive. He's looked for the offload, he offloads to Jazz. Jazz then gives it to Alpha, who looks for the wide route. Comes back inside, some good stepping, good strength by Alpha. He's still not held, they can't, three ball goons, they can't get him to the floor. Good strength, good work by Alpha Jewett though. Jazz with the ball, little kick, chip over the top, good chase, good kick. So it looks like the Bulgarians now will have the, the ball back now on the 35-40 the metre line. Good calm play though by the Maltese, no rush, no panic. Couple of runs in to settle it, Jazz with a kick over the top. And now they have to front up and uh, keep the Bulgarians down here now in defence. There's a play of the ball. Then we have has nobody to pass to, so he has to fling it out left, find the player. He's met there by Robin and Kane. Good defence. Again, Kane with the defence. Two on the bounce, Robin in there helping him out. Good D. Good work by those two. Slow play of the ball. Maltese up in the line speed. Good defence. Jean with the first contact. Kane again with the third tackle on the bounce, helping out. Good effort there by Kane Demek. Again, slow play of the ball. He goes left. Looks for the dummy, takes it himself. Good contact there by Alpha. Good contact. Bulgarians found his front though. Can he get up and play it quickly? Good, powerful run by 13 there. And Bulgaria on the break, but he's got no support. Good defence there from Mark at the back. Jan Scully covering to help him out as well. But good solid run there by the Bulgarian 14, 13. They still play on the left, kick. Good take by Reese. Good defence by the Bulgarian to force. I know he's made it out, he's made it out, good play. Have a player injured in back play. We've got Jean, the vice captain. But the player moves on, just in Davenport with a strong run there in his own 10. Good metres made there, took three players with him. Kyle Cassar, the nine, passes left to William Watts, who again takes up a settler. Nice solid run. Robin goes left again, hits Carl. Passes it to Goucher. Comes back inside, bounces a couple of players off, throws a dummy but takes the, takes the ball in himself. Good decision, good play. Robin flings it to Justin again, second run of the set. He's confronted by a Bulgarian, but a quick play of the ball here can get Maltese flying to the right. And Jazz puts up a bomb. Full back, let it bounce. It's all over the place. There's big run by Jean Scholler though, chasing up. Can he defend it? Great chase, great defence there by Jean Scholler. Fantastic effort there by the young, young winger. Bulgaria in trouble a little bit here. Can they get out of their own half? Quick dummer, nice, nice little play. Gets the Bulgarians out of trouble a little bit there, and he's still going, still going. Good play there by the Bulgarian number eight. It brings out the Bulgarians to the, the 20-meter line. They needed that run. Great run there. Good contact from Kane. And you've got four players in there driving him back. Good effort there by the Maltese. We still have a player down injured in back play. Solid contact from Carl there, held tight by Kane. Kane's putting in a stint here. He's getting stuck in with the defence. What's the ref going to give? It's a strip, so it's a penalty there to the Bulgarians. Again, he's going to have to be careful if he goes for the kick. The wind is strong, he didn't make the touch last time. Let's see if he learns and can actually reach it. But we're going to hold up play there because uh, Jean-Pierre Zab is, is down injured in back play. A good solid start by the Maltese here. Um, scored a good try, good defence, good commitment. But the Bulgarians are doing well to keep them out as well, leaving it only to 6-0. It's 
not a bad stint, not a bad effort by the Bulgarians. They just need to maybe get a bit more depth, a few bit more options from the in attack. It's very one up at the minute, and the Maltese are reading it. Then string together a couple of passes, maybe get a bit wide to the fast man. Maybe Mansi and making a few more meters. Jan's going to be replaced. Fingers crossed for Jan, it's nothing too serious. Hopefully it's just a knock and we'll see him again tonight. I think he's been replaced by, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Carol Spitira. He goes with the top. Had solid contact by Will Watts there, held tight by Justin Davenport and Kane. Kane's in there again. Hungarians go left. Good first effort there by Carol Spitira. Good defence. Again, passed it one out to the left. Good tackle by Robin Law down there. Great tackle, held tight there by Knight Robinson and Carol Spatira. Go left again, and again. A bit of wide, and it's a knock on. Good pressure defence there by the Maltese. They had nowhere to go. They tried to go wide, but the Maltese had it covered all day long. Good effort there, good talking, good communication there by the Maltese team. We have a scrum here to the Malta lads on the uh, 40 metre line. Let's see what they can put on from this scrum. Jared feeds it, Robin passes it out to Carl, he then goes short to Kyle, who then tips it on to Mark and then on to Jean and Jean's got speed, he's got speed. He's on the wing, can he make it? Good run. Fantastic play there by the multi, straight from the scrum. Jared feeds it, passes it out to Carl. Obviously a planned move. They hit the shot, running Carl Boucher. And then quick hands then to Mark Camilleri. And again quick hands out to Jan Scholler, who sprints down the left-hand touch line and puts the ball down under the sticks. Good work by the Maltese, great set play. Well done. And now we have Jared Samet, who's uh, going to attempt the, the conversion straight in front of the sticks. It's been a great effort by the Maltese so far. Obviously, um, starting prop going off injured isn't exactly what the coach would have ordered, but um, Carol Spateri came on. Got stuck in in defence straight away, uh, which then forced the knock on for the Maltese to get the scrum and put on a planned move and uh, just completely bamboozle the Bunga Bulgarians, which sees Jan Skola, use his speed and uh, place the ball down straight under the sticks. Obviously, with the problem with the wind today, the balls fall off the cone, so Jazz just needs to set it up. He took it quickly. 12-0 now to Maltese. By number Good seven, Jared Samut. 12-0 to Malta. There's been no panicking today by the, the Maltese. They look very calm and composed. Seems like every man knows his job. Um, no just panicking, just sticking to the script. And uh, so far, the Bulgarians are struggling to, uh, to keep up with the Maltese attack. Bulgarians with the kickoff again. Let's see what happens with the kickoff with the wind strongly in his face. Kicks over to nobody called for it, no communication there. 
Let's see what the ref's going to look forward from where I'm standing. Chan Scully tried to tap it back in, but I think he tapped it forward, which um, gives the, the Bulgarians the ball back in a great position here on the 20 metre line. Let's see what they can do. Let's see if the Maltese can hold them out. And also, let's see if the Bulgarians can put something together here and uh, cross the whitewash. Defence there on the wing. Carl Kassar, Carol Spiteri, they go left, one out to the 10. And then Carol again, good effort from Carol. Came across second in a row, took him down by himself. And look at that. Carol Spiteri's pressure, his commitment there to the defence has uh, caused a knock on, and Maltese had the ball back. Good work by the Malta team though. Just in Davenport, takes the ball, nice little step. Big man can move. He's brought on down by three, three defenders there. Robin swings it out right, Jazz tips it on to Kane, who just shy of the 50 metre line. Goes right again, gives it to Robertson. He's wrapped up, he's still going, keeping the legs pumping. Gives the offload to Robin, then finds Alpha. Alpha cuts back inside, good strong run by Alpha. Taken down um, on the, the, the 60 metre. Goes, ooh. Good little run there by Reese. Quick play of the ball, Robin stood there behind, he's waiting for it. Swings out left, hits Jared Summit. Then fakes the drop off, fakes the drop off, little step, comes across left, finds Mark. Unfortunately, cannot bring it in. Knock on there by Camilleri. Unlucky, there's a good play by there by Malta. Swung it all the way right, found the space on the left, but just a little bit unlucky though. Promising signs off from the Maltese. Uh, they're looking good in attack, the, uh, the finding the space. Again, like I said, everybody knows what the job is and they know what they came here to do today. Still only 12 nil to Malta. Um, Bulgarians here with the ball to feed the scrum. Let's see what they can do here from their own 20. Let's see if they can get out. Looks like we might have somebody injured in the back player. Uh, Bulgarian, I think number 17. Not sure what's what's gone on there, but hopefully it's nothing too serious again. And you can uh, get back up, run it off and continue playing. But no, it looks like he's heading for the sideline. He's going to be replaced. Best of luck to him. Let's hope it's nothing serious. So both teams now taking advantage of the, the breaking play, just having a quick water break, because even though it's windy, it's still hot. And to play rugby league in this weather, it does take its toll. So yeah, good work by the ref there, giving each team a water break, a bit of a refreshment. Good. and hydrated. Um, we don't want any more injuries, of course not. Um, so yeah, we just have this little break in play. As soon as the, the referee is set and both teams are ready, we'll get back into it. Thank you. 
Looks like we're back in play now. Uh, Bulgarians to feed the scrum. Goes right. Good up defence there. They're going to drag him into touch. Good effort there by the Maltese. They held him up. Looks like it was uh, Kyle Goucher, William Watts. And uh, I think Kyle Casado involved as well. Good effort there. First player, the Bulgarians feed the scrum. They go right to the blind side, and uh, Maltese are up in the faces, held him up, and pushed him over the touchline. So um, Malta with the ball again, 30 metres out. Carol Spiteri to play the ball, Robin behind. He goes right out to Jared. Jared looks to go back inside to Reese. Good play. Reese straight up with the offload to Robin. Robin goes left, takes the ball up himself. Good decision, good effort. We have Carl Cassar, dummy half now. Swings it right, finds Jared. Jared looks for Carroll, who goes straight up, breaks a few tackles. Good, good, good drive. Great effort there by Mr. Spitira. Carl goes left, goes on his own. Good run. Oh, unlucky. He looked for the flat ball there to William Watts, but uh, I think the pass was delayed a little bit too much, and um, he just William Watts just couldn't keep hold of the ball. Unlucky though. Good play, not the right option, but um, still looking good, throwing the ball around, looking for those lines and great flat balls. But uh, unfortunately, just didn't come off this time. So we'll have a scrum now on the 10 metre line. I'm not sure whose ball it is. I thought it was the Bulgarian ball, but it looked like the, the referee pointed to Maltese. Um, all I can think of maybe when Carl passed the ball, it was touched by a Bulgarian player before it hit Will which um, congregates a knock-on against the Belgians. So a bit of a let-off there for Malta. Uh, they have the scrum on the 10-metre line. Um, let's see if they've got any set moves prepared now. He feeds it, Carl. Passes to Robin, who goes himself. Little done. Good shot there by the Bulgarian over the top. Rocked him a little bit, but he's straight back up playing the ball. Jazz goes left, looks for Kane, who opens it straight for the line, and he goes over the line, untouched. Um, soft defence there by the Bulgarians. But, uh, good work there by the Maltese. He deserved that, Kane. He's putting some great effort today. He's putting some great effort today, um, especially in his defence. He hasn't took a bad, good step. Um, I think he's taken the ball every set they've had as well. So good work there by Demek. Good play, good run, great try. Well done. Again, we have uh, Jared Samu kicking, uh, looking to make it 18-0 to Malta, which I'm more than sure he will be able to, if the ball can stay on the cone with this wind. He lines it up. <laughs> and slots it straight through the black dot. 
and converted by number seven again, Jared Samu. It's been a very good uh, composed, uh, organised game by the Maltese. Um, they haven't looked like they've had it once so far today. Again, like I said, seems like every man has a job to do and they know exactly what they're doing. It's great to see. 18 0 now to the Maltese. Uh, Bulgarians to kick off. Um, and again, this wind in his face, so the ball can go anywhere. The Maltese will have to be on the toes on this one again. Little dink over the top towards the middle, collected by Jared, who then gives it on to Carol Spatira, who knows only one way, and that's forward. Go, look at contact. Great contact. You could hear that from here. Mark dummies it, scoots, takes it on, skips one, then gets meted, fronted up by two Bulgarians there. Good play of the ball. Robin goes right to Kane again, who then looks for his brother Reese, who breaks the line. Great run there by Reese, and it's held. Kyle at the dummy half, goes left, passes to Jazz, Jazz looks inside to Mark, Mark offloads then to Robin, who's still going, but is, um, is held uh, just shy of the 20 metre line. We have another Bulgarian down in back play. Kyle goes left to Jazz, Jazz is on his own, he looks for the cut, and Kyle goes straight through. Good try by Goetje. Um, Started off by a, a bomb standing run from Kyle Spatira. He knows only one way and that's forward. And uh, he certainly made sure that lad knew he was tackling. Good run by Carroll. Um, quick play of the balls. And quick scoops from Mark, Robin, Reese making a good break. And then again from a good play of the ball, quick play of the ball, they find Jazz, who puts Kyle Goucher through a line, straight under the sticks again. So yeah, the Maltese definitely came to play today, and you can you can see um, the Bulgarians just don't seem to be able to keep up today. Uh, the skill level of the Maltese seems on another level. Um, again, they've got some good generals in there, some good leaders holding the team about, some experienced players, and uh, obviously seems to be working. Uh, the old lads and the young lads coming together. Jazz now attempting a conversion again. He lines it up. And he makes it 24 0 to Malta. And converted by number seven again, Jared Samu. The score is 24 0 to Malta. Good effort here today by the Maltese, but. The Bulgarians, I think they need to step up a little bit if they're going to stay in this game. Otherwise, it looks like the Maltese are in the mood today to score some points. Uh, so I think uh, the Bulgarians need to pick up the chin from the chest, get their heads out high. Um, it's still on the first half, there's plenty of time left um, to get a couple of points here. So as long as they, they don't let their heads down, they let them drop and keep up with the effort. We should be fine. Kick off by the Bulgarian. He's looking for Gauci, who calls it. Over his head, a good collection by Jan Scoli, who then looks infield and is met by number 19 of the Bulgarians. Oh. We have to go back here. Looks like the touch judge had his flag up. Uh, I'm not sure if it went out to play off the Bulgarian or the Maltese. But it looks like the Bulgarians had the ball back. Um, so the Maltese must have stepped into play after he caught, stepped out of play after he caught the ball. Good chance here by the Bulgarians. Um, they've had many of these throughout the game. I think it's only the second time they've been in the, the 20 metres with the Maltese. So hopefully they can um, put something together and put some points on the board. Good straightforward run met by Davenport. Good solid contact there. Quick play of the ball, goes right. Little scoot by number eight. He runs over the top of Carl. He's still going, strong, powerful, but he's, he's held there. 
a metre short of the try line. I'm not sure what the referee called though. Nothing, I think it's just to play the ball, continue. Looking for the big boys to just crash it over, but the Maltese lads are up to it, fronted up. Put him down, they've lost yards here. Let's see what they can do. Again, trying to screw. Swinging it left, number one with the step. Run straight into Alfie and Jewett and uh, Jared Samet, who stopped him in his tracks there. They're set up to the right, but number eight decided to go himself on the left. He's held up a couple of metres short though. Fifth and last tackle. Let's see what they can do here. Gone for the crash play again. But again, Maltese, they're up in defence. Three, four players put a stop to that attack. And uh, the Maltese keep the scoreline nil, keep it at zero. But it's still take great confidence from that. But no. They're in their own 10 metre line. We've got a lot of work to do here uh, to get out of their own half. Let's see what they can put on. So Alfie with the first drive. Takes a great run up there. Puts Malta on the 15 metre line. Good solid 10 metres there from Alfie. Plays the ball, Carl then goes left to Kane. And another drive. Good solid drive there. Quick play of the ball to Robin. Robin picks it, looks for Jazz. Jazz then passes it to Reese to Mac. But again, makes a good solid 10 metres, finds his front. Robin passes it left to Jazz again, to Carl, who is fronted by a good shot there by the Bulgarians, but he gets back up, makes another yard. Go on, Carl, he's through. No support. Jazz was looking on his left there, but he's just a bit too, too late. Robin picks and goes, looks left, finds Galcha, who then finds Babau and Jan Scoli on the wing. But uh, good defence there by the local Bulgarians. They scrambled well though and uh, put a stop to that Maltese attack. And it looks like the Maltese have uh, knocked on as well. So, yeah, good effort there by the Bulgarians. They had to scramble though, they had to stop that attack, and they did just that. They, they got across, put the defensive effort in, and Oz as well faced. Uh, forced the mistake. So good, good effort there by the Bulgarians. They can take confidence from that. Let's, let's hope they can put that now into the attack because they've got a lot of work to do here. Scrum on the 25 metre line. Bulgaria to feed it. He goes left for the one-up drive again. He's then met by Carol Spatira, who, since he's come on, has put in a real effort in defence. Good work by him. Oh, and it's a, it's a knock-on at the play of the ball. Sloppy play of the ball, though. Not what they needed. Uh, bit of up the jumper style they need now, the Bulgarians, just to get a bit of field position, a bit of territory. Because right now, the Maltese are playing all the football in, uh, in the Bulgarian half. And every time the Maltese get the ball, they look dangerous and look like they're going to cross the line. So, not exactly an ideal situation for them. But it's good for the Maltese. Good effort from the Maltese. Good pressure. Jazz flares it. Looks for Carl. Sloppy tap pass there. I'm not sure about that, but uh, the ref has given knock on. Uh, not the best pass there from, from behind the scrum. Uh, down at Carl's ankles, and uh, the referee said that he bobbled that before he collected it. Um, unlucky though. But to let off for the Bulgarians, um, now they have the feed of the scrum. Let's see if they can do a little bit better than the last, the last set of six that they had. So the ball is out. Maltese are straight up in the faces. Great D. Fantastic D by the multi, straight up there, not giving a moment's breath. Kane, good shot from Kane. Carol Spateri again involved in the tackle. Good effort by that ball, good effort. He's done well since he's come on, he's definitely put his name forward for another cap. Baba, Liam Sikluna gets hold of him as well as Justin. Good defence so far by the Maltese. 
Carroll involved again, uh, Justin, Mark Robertson, good defence again, doesn't seem like the Bulgarians are, um, are going to trouble the Maltese in this set. Babal with the great close up. Last tackle here. Did the Maltese player touch that? Is that first knock on Maltese or...? No, it's to play the ball. Turn over on the last tackle. Um, not the best end of sets. What they needed though really was to put boot to ball, put it in the corner somewhere, get up in defence and put pressure on the Maltese. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to get the kick off. I think lack of communication though. Unlucky there by the Bulgarians. But again, it gives Malta a chance to get over the line again. Good strong run there by Justin Davenport again. He's laid the benchmark today as the forwards for Malta. Never took a backward step. Robin flings it to Carl, who then looks for Liam Shakluna. Good run there by Babao. Bouncing players off, left, right and centre. He's still going, still going. And the Elden, just to meet a short of the try line. Good solid bopper run there. Flings it right, looks for Jazz. And then dummies to Mark, and they just cannot keep hold of the ball. Unlucky there. Good solid run by the big bopper there, Mabal. Took the ball 30 metres out and got a metre short. Good solid run. I think it's his first run since coming on, and he didn't disappoint. Good work. But because of the, uh, the mistake from the Maltese, the Bulgarians have the ball back, but it's not exactly a, a bad place to turn the ball over. The Bulgarians are in their own 10 and have 90 metres to get down to the other side of the field, which is no easy task, especially the way the Maltese are playing today. <laughs> Bulgaria to feed the scrum, passes it out. Good solid contact from Kane again, and Alf is in there for Lenders Weight. Great defence there. Another one-up run, met by Kane and Alphen, help from Justin. Good defence from those two, good effort. Kane again in the tackle. Oh, and he's knocked on. Kane picks up the ball, looks out to Carol Spiteria again. Only knows one way and he's going, keeps going, he's still going. His elder metre short. Good run there by Carol, good pressure in defence there by the Maltese. Robin flings it right, looks for Kane. Short ball though to Mark Robinson, who breaks the tackle and puts the ball straight under the stinks. And Malta's fifth try scored by Mark Robinson! Yeah. Great effort there by the Maltese. Good solid defence. Um, put pressure on the Bulgarians, who just couldn't keep hold of the ball. Um, great pick up by Kane Demek, uh, continuing with the play. Swings it out, and then a nice short ball from Jared to put Mark Robinson under the sticks. Every time the, the Maltese get the ball, they look dangerous. They look like they're putting on points. Um, the Bulgarians are going to need to tighten up the defensive line, go up in twos and threes, and look to meet these players head on. Maybe slow down the play of the ball a little bit more, give themselves more chance. Converted by number seven, but Jared Samoon! So it's 30-0 to Malta 9! Just too powerful for the Bulgarians today. An extra two points are added by Jazz. And the Bulgarians to kick off again. Again, the kickoffs have caused a couple of problems here for Malta. Um, obviously, because of the wind, but uh, they need to keep their heads up here and expect this ball to go anywhere. Um, if it's any inclination, it's probably going to go right, so they need to make sure their eyes are forward on this one. It's gone towards Jan Scola, who collects. Oh, he... And the referees give it forward. Unlucky though by Jan, Jan Scola. Um, we knew it where it was going. The kickoffs today has been the only weakness in the Maltese team. 
apart from that, they've been solid all the way through in attack and defence. So, I mean, I think the captains, the captain of Malta, or the, the experienced lads, need to have a word with that right hand side and just um, get it drilled into them what to expect and uh, try and clean that up a little bit. Bulgarians come left, number eight with the ball. Keeps all it, chips over the top on the first player. Bulgaria chasing it. And uh, that was covered all day by, by Reese Demek. And that's half time. Um, good display there by the Maltese Knights. Uh, Bulgaria got a lot of work to do. But, um, and ladies and gentlemen, rugby, that's the end of the first we'll half with your Maltese Knights leading 30 points to nil. Come on, Malta!
Welcome back uh, to this game, Malta versus Bulgaria. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for the second half. Come on, you Malta Knights! Bulgaria to kick off, Malta to receive. Let's see if Malta can uh, continue where they left off in that first half. We have uh, Pete De Bono on the field now, who replaced number 11, Will Watts. Mag received, and he's going to take the ball up himself. Good settler there by Mark Camalera. Robin at dummy half, goes right to Babao, who then drops the ball. Unlucky though. First set out of the second half, after the first half. Um, maybe his hands are still a bit cold, but I'm sure he'll warm up into the game again. But we'll go in there with the feed. Not a bad position if they can string a few passes together. You might be able to put some points on the board here. The ball comes out right. A great shot, met well by Alfie Hewitt and uh, Carol Spitera. Babao and Mark Robinson there with the defence. Good tackle there by those two. Again, Mark Robinson and Babao in the tackle. It's helped out there by Kane Demek and uh, Carol Spitera. Sloppy pass there from Hooker and uh, it's a mistake there by the Bulgarians. Can't really be, uh, blame the, the receiver though. It wasn't the best pass from uh, Dummy Half, which then hit the floor in a slight bobble. It means the Maltese will get the ball back here in their own half. Let's see if they can uh, keep the ball this time, uh, play out the set and get the kick out or possibly get some more points on the board. Looks like Jared's going to feed the scrum. And you go right, run around by Jared, who looks for Alpha. He takes the ball himself, bus one tackle, bus two tackle. Takes three, four of them to get him down. Good run there by Alpha. Slow play of the ball. Robin behind, looks left, finds Jared. Then it's Liam Babal. That's better from Liam. Big run by Liam Shikluna though. Much better. Robin comes left, looks for Kane. Kane looks for the short ball, but he's met heavy there by two contact defenders. But he keeps going, he bounces off, keeps going, gets an extra 20. Oh, what an offload. Great offload out the back there to Jared Samet. Good effort there by Kane Demek. Good solid shot from the Bulgarian to start off with. But Kane just bounces off, keeps swinging around to the right, keeps going, and keeps going. And scoring Malta's sixth try, Jared Samet! And he finds that backdoor pass there to Jared, supporting on the right. And straight under the sticks again. That's 34 0 now for the kick to come. Um, I'm sure Jared's going to attempt the conversion. <laughs> but yeah, it was good work there by Kane. He's been all over the park today in defence and in attack. Good effort by that young man today. What's happening here? The rest wants to talk to the captain. Jazz just waiting for the ball for the conversion. I'm sure it's nothing serious, just a quick word though to Kyle Kassar, the Maltese captain. Jared's lining up the kick. Straight through the black dot, 36 nil. And converting his own try to make the score 36 nil to Malta, it's Jared Samu! The Bulgarians now to kick off against the Maltese. Still look a bit shaky on the kickoffs. Uh, let's hope this time. 
they can pull together and make the clean catch. Number eight for Bulgaria to take the kick. Looking for Mark again, he calls it. A bit of confusion there, but they get away with it. And Mark finds a break. Good effort there by Mark Camalera. He's still going, still going. Great drive. Good run there by Mark Camalera, the Maltese fullback. Robin looks for Kane again. He looks at that short ball to Carol Spatura. Big bopper, straight forward again. Takes four of them to bring him down. Bit of a slow play, the ball. He's up. Plays to Robin, who looks left to Kane. What was that? Looks like an incorrect play of the ball there by Carl's Materia. I think that's the first thing, uh, first foot he's put wrong today. We've got a good effort there by the young Maltese player. Good defence there, met by Liam Shikluna and Pete DiBorno. Again, Pete involved in that tackle. 1v1 tackle, good effort there by Pete DiBorno. Fresh on this second half. The Bulgarians look to kick. And the Maltese let it go. They find touch. About 20 metres out from the, uh, the Maltese try line. Malta now with the scrum feed. Uh, if the past game has anything to go by, they shouldn't have any problem getting out of here. But hopefully the Bulgarians can front up in defence and uh, keep them in their own 20 or force the mistake at least and try and get a look in at the Maltese line. Jazz at dummy half with the dummy, looks for Carl, a little bobble. He's met there by the Bulgarians, well held there by Carl. <laughs> Gets up and plays the ball to Robin, who then looks right to Matt Robinson. Takes a little jinking run. Met by two Bulgarians, He's put down. Robin finds Jared, who looks for Kane again on the short ball. Who's just knocking lads off for fun. He's having a world of a game today, Kane Demek. Robin with a quick run from dummy half. He's met there by one Bulgarian defender. Who uh, goes high on Robin Kutaya. Which uh, means Jared Samet will now take the penalty and look to make some extra metres. Which he does. Makes a good 10 metres extra though. Robin Kataya going to take the tap for the Maltese lads. Passes it on to Carl Goucher. He goes a dummer, finds the gap, goes straight through. Full back to beat, and he's done. Oh, oh unlucky. He might have been better off though with a two handed pass. Um, he might have been better off though with a two-handed pass. Uh, he looked straight through, straight through the defence. Uh, the last pass, look for the back door, but a bit of fancy work. But uh, just over the top of Jared's head, and he just couldn't take it in. Unlucky though by the Maltese. Um, but good break though by Carl Goucher. Just. Uh, Missing the execution though. Like we have Brendan Dalton coming onto the field. Young Maltese lad made his uh, made a couple of cuts from Malta Rugby Union. Let's see how he gets on here playing rugby league for Malta. He's going with the play of the ball, looks left. And that's uh, it's a cheap penalty to give away though by the Maltese. Definitely what the Bulgarians needed um, to get them out of a bit of trouble. But uh, yeah, cheap penalty offside there by the Maltese players. They look for touch and try and get an extra few metres downfield. Oh, 
you fucking you can't do that. Well, like he went from the top. I'm not sure if that's allowed. Um, but don't argue with the ref. He took the quick tap and wet himself. Now we're on the second tackle. And he knocks on. Very sloppy play of the ball there by Bulgaria. Very sloppy. Little bobble though as he's putting the ball down to play it. Um, just needed more control though. Unlucky by the Bulgarians, but it just means uh, Malta get the ball back again on the halfway. And uh, no doubt we'll look to cause some damage here and uh, get some more points on the board. Looks like Jared will be feeding the scrum again. Jared with the scrum feed. Robin looks left, finds Carl Cassar. Goes out the back to Brendan Dalton. First time on the ball. Looks for the gap. Just collared by two Bulgarians. Good first touch there by Brendan Dalton. Settled the nerves a little bit. Cassar swings it out there to Goucher, who throws a dummy and goes himself. He's met there by some solid defence by the Bulgarian number seven. Carroll again, only knows one way, bumps off a couple of players, looks for the offload. Bit of confusion there. Uh, probably would have been better off just keeping over the ball. But, I mean, they're in a position to be able to try a few things, I suppose, so. Unlucky though. Big, big effort now needed by the Bulgarians. Caught down in their own 20 again. Um, it's going to take some strong drives. Maybe finish off a set, look for the kick, and try and get the, the Maltese playing back from their own line. The scrum's fed, it's gone left. Throws a dummy, takes the ball himself, but he's met there by a good Maltese defence, but he gets the offload over. And he's, he's met by Reese Dimek on the wing, who smashes him, drags him over to the touchline and uh, gets Malta the ball back. Good defence there by Reece Dimek. He's looked solid though on that wing. A um, few, few times he've tried to get past him, but he's not letting it happen. Good defence there by Dimek again. So Malta will get the ball now, uh, 20 metres away from the Bulgarian line and will no doubt look to post more points in this set. Uh, Okay, and with the play of the ball. Robin Kutaya waiting behind. Jazz is waiting on the right. He goes left, finds Carol Spateria again with a big strong run. Takes three, four players to put him down. Good effort there by the big prop forward. Kane on the right, Pete on the left. He goes left again, finds Pete De Bono. Takes a good strong drive, he's still going. But he's met there by three Bulgarian defenders who held, held him up. Can't bring him down though, he's still on his feet. Plays the ball to Robin. Looks for Jared. Jared has the ball. Dummy inside. Passes to Dalton. He takes the ball himself. Finds a gap just, just short. Stopped to meet a short. Good effort though. Jazz the dummy half, throws a dummy, ducks under the defence and goes himself. Soft try by the Bulgarians there, but. Uh, good effort there by Jared Summit. Uh, he saw he was a bit tired at the marker and he grabbed it with both hands. Jazz. He grabbed it with both hands, ducked under the defence and scored the try. And second try of the match for Jared Summit! <laughs> been uh, immaculate with the boot. So far he's been immaculate with the boot. Hasn't missed a single conversion yet. Um, 
this wind is picking up. Let's hope we can continue the form and slot this one over to make it 42 0. And of course, slots it through, straight over and the black dot. And converting his own score to make the score 42-0 to Malta, it's Jared Sambo! Malta will receive again, uh, the Bulgarians with the kick-off. Malta have looked very strong today, I mean the past past three, four games Malta have had, they've looked very strong. Um, and even again, just looks like the Bulgarians just couldn't compete today. Um, good solid drives from the forward men. Uh, they've played the platform and then the backs have done their job. Um, but I think today the forwards have really done the job for the Maltese which made life a lot easier when it comes to gaining the points. Bulgaria with the kickoff. Goes down to the right. Dalton with the, with the take. Oh, looked a bit high that. The ref didn't see it, play on. Good quick play of the ball. Jan Scholey with the scoop and he's away. He's down the wing, down the left. He's got the full back to beat. Oh, and he's done him on the inside and he's away. He's away. Good, good try there by Jan Scholey. Superb try. Showing his speed there down the left hand side. Brendan Dalton with a great take. Get up, quick play of the ball. And Jan Scholey was able to pick the ball up, find the gap and sprint down the left touch side. Good individual try there by Jan. Well done, mate. Putting his lightning speed there to good use. Uh, flew straight past the winger, took him on on the outside. The full back to beat. Quick step off his left foot, back on the inside and just straightens up and nobody can catch him. Good individual try there by Jan Scholler. Jared Deer now converts the try. And converting it to make it 48 now again, it's Jared Sunday! It's been a great all round performance by the Malta lads today. Great all round performance. We've had a good game, they gelled together well. Very few mistakes, discipline's been, been brilliant. Um, they deserve all the points they've had today. A um, bit unfortunate for the Bulgarians to face such a strong squad. Um, but they haven't given up, they're still going, um, which is good to see. Again, Malta to receive the kickoff, Bulgaria to, to take the kick. Short kickoff. Jared's onto it. Takes the ball himself. Solid contact. But finds his front. Hopefully for a quick play of the ball for Robin to, to get it out. Carol Spiteri again. Good strong run by him. The forwards have been very dominant today. The forwards have laid the platform. Uh, Carol Spiteri has been good. Justin Davenport has been brilliant. Even the second roles in, in Kane and Will. Oh, there's a break by... Great individual try there by uh, Mark Robinson. Um, <laughs> hit the line with speed, with pace, straight through the uh, the Bulgarian defence, and uh, goes straight under the the sticks. Jared converts again. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the the Maltese have just found that extra groove now, found the second wind, which is making it nearly impossible for the Bulgarians to keep up. <laughs> Nice line made there by Mark Robinson and a nice flat pass to put him through the gap. Uh, it looks like we're going to have a water break again. Um, five minutes or so, just let the lads refresh and hydrate and uh, we'll be back. And scoring his hat trick for Malta, it was number 12, Robocop! And converting it for Malta to make it 54 0, Jared Samu! Looks like the water break's almost over. Uh, the Maltese team setting up to receive the kickoff. Bulgarians setting up to, to take the kickoff, just waiting on the referee to blow his whistle and we can get back on the way. Bulgarians go short, Kane's underneath it, a take by Kane, who then makes some more extra metres as well, he's still going, good run there by Kane Demek, he's fighting to get up, Brendan Dalton picks the ball up on a quick scoot, great little run by Brendan Dalton, makes 30 metres though, settling him well to this game, Robin waiting behind, Jazz on the left, goes to Jazz, looks for Carroll, good little ball, Carroll's still going, good run by Carroll's Materi again. Quick play of the ball there to Robin. And it's a sloppy play of the ball, that's unlucky, uh, he's hardly put a foot wrong today, Carroll's Materi. Uh, but just a little bobble there at the play of the ball. All he has to do now is keep his head up, make the next tackle, and forget about it. He's had a great game so far. Peter Bono with the defence. Number eight going for the kick again. Jazz is there tracking back. Jazz with the ball. Quick little step. And he's lost it. Bulgaria's received the ball again. Good tackle there by Dimek. Great D. One up rugby. Again, good defence by Dimek. Helped out there by Carol Spatira. Again with the kick to the right hand corner. Brendan Dalton's uh, covering it. Can he make it out of his own line? He can, and then some. Good work by Brendan Dalton. Good effort. Now he needs his teammates behind to help him. Alf is there. Uh, makes a good 20 metres before he's even made contact. And they struggle to bring him down. Still on his feet. Can he get the quick play of the ball? Robin goes left to find Carl. Carl looks for Kane. Kane quick hands to Pete. He just puts his head down, then looks for Goucher. Kyle back on the inside, throws a dummy. Still going, Carl Goucher. Still going, Carl Goucher. He's finally met by a couple of Bulgarians and uh, he's put to floor. Looks like they're going left to Carl. Carl with the ball. Planned move. Goes flat to Pete the ball. No, he just can't keep hold of it. 
knock on there by Malta. And look, uh, I think Pete needed to come from a bit wider position though to be able to collect that ball efficiently. But the the gap was there, the move was on, just poorly executed. But can't really blame Muller today. They've either put a foot wrong, they've had a, a great game. Good, in, good individual players, good team players. Um, nobody can fault them today. Bulgaria with the scrum feed. Passes it out to the right, comes blindside. Comes back inside, he's met by Kane. Carroll lending his weight as well. Run left, good effort again by Kane with another defensive effort. It's helped out there by Robin. I don't know about that. Uh, the referee's given incorrect play of the ball though. So Malta will receive the ball back. Unlucky there by the Bulgarians. But Kane Dimak will play the ball for the Malta lads. Robin waiting behind him. He goes left to Carl. Carl looks up, finds Pete. Pete just puts his ear, pins his ears back and takes that tackle. It's a penalty to Malta, two and a tackle. Can't do that. 1v1, yeah, but 2v1. He asking for a penalty to be given away. Robin looked for the quick tap, but the referee wasn't ready, so that's uh, bring it back. Kyle with a strong run there. Good settling run. Still can't bring him to ground, still on his feet. Plays the ball quickly now to Robin. He flings it out right to find Carl. And then finds Jazz. Skips past one, skips past two, straight through the middle. Side step from the full side steps the fullback and plants the ball straight under the sticks. Great individual try. And the second hat trick of the day goes to number seven, Jared Summer. Nice couple of settling drives there on the left. Um, clearly, the two half backs we've been talking and uh, saw the opportunity. Carl flinged it out to Jazz, who then stepped one, went straight through the gap of two, and then sidestepped stepped the full back to get his third try of the evening. Um, and again, he will try to convert his own try. And converting his own to make the score 16-0 to Malta, it's Jarrett Sunday! Jazz converts his own try. 6-0 uh, to Malta. Uh, I think now with the Bulgarians, it's all about pride and playing for the shirt and the badge on his chest. Um, there's no chance of getting back into this game now. The Maltese have been dominant from start to finish. Uh, the Bulgarians just couldn't keep up. They're well drilled, well organised, and uh, just a great all round performance by the MRL team tonight. But Bulgaria to take the kick off, Malta again to receive. <laughs> Go short to Kane. Kane's all over it. Takes the defence on. Takes the tackle. Robin behind. Looks for Carl. Carl looks for Carroll. Carroll again. Straight forward. Breaks the line. Look at this. Big bop of the way. And he gets stopped by the fullback. What a sight. Big man with some speed straight through the line. Carl goes blind. Looks for Jan Scholar. But unfortunately, can't keep hold of it. Must have had a piece of toast at water break. Got butter on his hands. But unlucky though, good play again. The forwards laying the platform. Carol's material has been excellent today. 
Um, breaking the line, making metres. He's made multiple tackles on the bounce, and every time he gets the ball, he's breaking the line or making 10, 20 metres. Good effort from him today. Met strongly there by Robin and Kane. Good D. Again, good tackle by Robin. Over the top with Justin. Oh, there we go, left, one up. Steps Carroll. But eventually taken to ground there by Pete, Alfie and Carl. Slow play of the ball. And Bray looked to kick, he took them on. But uh, unfortunately, the winger on the left for Bulgaria just couldn't take the ball in. Malta will get the ball back. We'll have a scrum on the Forte, Malta feed. Just a breaking player there, the physio having a quick look at one of the Bulgarian players. Looks like he's took a knock, he's limping slightly but he's, uh, he looks like he's staying on the field. Not sure, but it looks like the, the vice captain Jean-Pierre Zab is warming up on the sideline. Looks like he's recovered from the knock he took. We might see him again on the field. Robin goes out to Jazz, Jazz goes for Jewett. Jewett finds Demek. Who then skips past a couple of players, spinning out of tackles, eventually put down to ground. Jazz again with the ball. Steps back to the right, looks for the inside player. Justin Davenport just stopped a couple of metres short. Can he get the quick play of the ball? Bit of entanglement there. Robin goes right, quick scoot, step. But he's held just short, a metre away from that Bulgarian line. Alfie waiting behind and they play the ball. Swings it out left quick, finds Jared, who then throws the dummy, looks for the gap, but he's wrapped up. He's wrapped up and taken to ground. It's the last tackle. Malta look like they're going left. And they do. Kyle eventually picks up the ball, gets the ball away to Jazz. Can he get the kick away? He can. Little nudge towards the foot of the post, chases his own kick. Did he get that down? Great individual try there by Jazz. Was it a try? No, the referee hasn't given it. He must have knocked on over the line. But either way, good individual effort, nothing on. Hot potato kind of stuff. Uh, eventually gets into the hands of Jazz, who didn't find nothing else, so uh, puts in a little kick, little nudge for himself, chase as well. Unfortunately, just couldn't collect uh, over the line. Unlucky though by the Maltese, but good effort chasing back by the Bulgarians. First tackle, met well by Pete. Again, Pete involved in that tackle, held tight there by Alfie Dewey. Looks like a knock on. Was that a knock on? No. That one was. Referee didn't see the first one, but the second one was clear as day. Knock on there by the Bulgarians. Uh, it's unlucky because now MRL have the scrum feed on the 20 metre line, which, if um, today is anything to go by, we might be looking at some more points on the board here for Malta players. No point arguing the ref lad, he's not going to change his mind. Let's get on with the game. I think it's just a hold up and play while the referee explains his decision. But Malta will receive the ball back. Um, be a tap on the 20. Robin Kutaya to take the tap. He looks right, finds Justin Davenport. Again, with a strong run, struggling to get him down. 
four or five players there around Justin Davenport. Good strong run there, nice little settler. Set up, Jazz gets the ball on the right, looks for the inside drop off, finds Dalton who goes straight through and places the, the, the ball straight under the sticks again. Good try there by the Brendan Dalton. The 11th try of the day comes to number 14, Brendan Dalton! Jared Samut there with the vision, takes the ball on the right, gets the ball, takes it up to the line and throws a nice flat ball where Brendan Dalton hit a superb line, went straight through the defence and managed to get the ball under the post to make the kick easier for Jared. Good play there by the Maltese. Jared Samut will again attempt to convert the try. Which he does easily. And converting to make the score 66 nil and keeping his 100% record alive. It's Jared Samut! 66 nil now to Malta. Uh, the scoreline basically does describe the game that we've been watching. It's been, uh, it's been the Maltese from start to finish. They've just been too powerful, too organised, and uh, they've just been finding the gaps and finding the right players, and effort levels have been insane today. Um, but again, I've got to say, the platform has been laid by the big forwards, um, which made life a lot easier for players like Jared and uh, Kyle Kassar to uh, make the plays. Um, but yeah, shout out to the forwards today, they've been amazing. Kyle's under it, receives the ball, looks for Will Watts, who then just puts his head down and goes straight forward into the Bulgarian defence. Good 10 metres made there by Will Watts. Jean's back on the field, it's good to see him back on the field. Another big bopper. Makes 10 metres when he's brought down. Good to see he's not injured. Jared with the ball, looks for Alfie, comes on a flat ball. Good solid contact, but Alfie rides it. He loves this kind of game. Loves getting stuck in the middle. Good work by him. Robin flies it to Jazz, who takes a step. Goes straight through the middle. Lot of Brendan Dalton on the receiving end. On support, and Brendan Dalton will go in for his second try. Good effort there. Good effort. All brought around there. Going second in as many minutes. It's number 14, Brendan Dalton! You can put that effort down there to uh, help you with Good effort. Took on a few players. Rod the, the, the tackle. Got on his falls. Get up. Quick play of the ball. Who then left plenty of space there for Jazz to put uh, Brendan Dalton straight through the gap. Who goes under the sticks untouched. Jared again to attempt the conversion. Which he does and keeps his 100% record today. And making the score 72 0 to Malta, it's Jared Lamoudi! Fantastic effort by the Maltese today. A couple of silly mistakes, but they've not let it get to them. They've kept the hell tell high, they've uh, stuck to the script, and uh, so far put 72 points against this Bulgarian team, which to put 72 points against any team is a feat in itself. Um, so good effort by the Maltese boys today. Kick off by the Bulgarians. Looks like he's going to go left. Picked out Alpha. Alpha takes the ball and he's only going to go forward. Little Goosey there comes back to the middle again, takes contact. Three, four players. And then he's eventually took down. Robin finds Carl, who then in turn finds Jan again, who's been wrapped up. He's not, he's still going. Good effort by Jan though. Looks like they're going to go left to Carl. 
Carl with the ball. Dummy inside, looks for Babal, who then looks for Kyle. Kyle on the wing, he's got Jan Scully on the outside, but he takes it himself. Does he get the offload? No, he takes the tackle. Good work. Robin swings it. No, he takes it himself. Good little run there by Robin. Carl goes right, finds Jared, step on the inside, looks for Carl again. Carl tries to bust his way through, but he just, the Bulgarians get bodies behind and uh, push him back. The last tackle here now for Malta. Robin finds Babau, who goes straight forward, straight over the top of the Bulgarian fullback and scores his try. Good effort there by the prop forward. And try number 13 goes to the nightmare, Liam Babau! They might have made a, a mistake there on the last tackle, looking for a prop, but it's not what Liam thought. He was getting over that try line, all do was stopping him. And good on him, he got over. And now Jazz will attempt to convert his try. Major keeps his record and does just that. Good kick there by Jared. And making the score 78 now, Mr. Dependable, Jared Sanu! Obviously, as I was saying before, the forwards have really laid the platform today. But uh, as always, when Jared puts on the Maltese top, good little marshalling around all the players, um, keeps everything organised, puts all the players on and uh, really makes the boys feel safe. But it's a mistake there by Jan, which the referee says play on. Malta with the ball, bit of a scrappy kickoff, but Malta have it. But then they knock on, knock on there by Robin Kutaya, unlock it, uh, which means Bulgaria will get the, the ball back. But yeah, as I was saying, Jazz is a good chief in the middle there for the Maltese team. Um, ever present. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's one of those players, he's played at a high level for years now. And knows, you know exactly what to expect. He knows exactly what his job is. And um, he's, he's performed it to a T today. Bulgaria go left with number eight. Missed tackle by Reese, but he's tracking back. Chip over the top, which he received, but uh, looks like it's full time here. Uh, the Ladies and gentlemen, whistle. give a big round of applause to your brave Maltese Knights, scoring 78 points to nil. That's full time here, uh, 78 points to nil to the Maltese. Great effort by the Malta boys. Um, special mentions to the forwards in uh, Carol Spateria, had an awesome game. Kane Demek had a fantastic game. Um, Reese was solid on the wings. Carl, great little half pack partnership there with Jared Sammer, obviously Jared. Um, Jan Scholler, uh, Carl Goucher, all did well today. Um, individual players was on fire, but as a team, as a whole, they all put together and great, put in a great performance. Um, but thank you for joining us. Um, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Uh, and yeah, catch you in a bit.